From the moment Europeans reached the Americas, one question stuck with explorers and empires. Could we make a shortcut through the narrow middle of the New World? The Spanish dreamed of it in the 1500s. In the 1800s, Americans felt the need during the gold rush. But the first big attempt came from a French giant, the builder of the Suez Canal, Ferdinand de Lesseps. After Suez, de Lesseps thought Panama would be the same, a simple sea-level canal. But Panama wasn't Egypt. There was no dry desert, only thick, living jungle. Trees crowded the work, roots grabbed machines, vines hid markers, and the heat made every hour heavy. Rain came hard and often, turning dirt into mud and trenches into slides, with walls falling as fast as crews dug them. Rivers rose without warning. The Chagres could go from calm to wild in one night, washing away months of work in a muddy rush. Then came the enemies no one saw, mosquitoes carrying yellow fever and malaria. They spread through the camps, emptied work crews and killed thousands. Hospitals filled. The neat line de Lesseps drew on a map became a grind of mud, sickness and lessons, proof that this place needed a new plan, new tools and a new fight. From 